Hi guys, this is Adam and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how we can export data to CSV and Excel in MVC application. Now first let's set up some model, add new item, beginning to create simple class called client. Let's have four simple properties. Let's say first name, last name, oops, date of birth and email. So now we're going to create inside the class a method that will return a, a list of clients that we are explicitly defining in the class. It's a bad habit and you normally would get this data from database of uh, CSV or some from web API. But in this case, this is just a simple example. Let's call it generate dummy client list. Create a list of client. Call it clients list. Or just clients. Calls new list. Then we're going to add a few clients. I'm just creating a simple blueprint. Let's add three clients. Okay, so let's say first name Adam. Black, date of birth, data dot parse. We can very simply just parse some data. And return clients. Now in, in home controller, let's create two methods. Export to CSV. So in this method, we're going to create a string writer. Closing a string writer, going to define header. First name, last name. email and date of birth. Now we want to make sure that response of clear content. Now we want to add header. So response dot add header string name content disposition.
value is going to be attachment. And file name, you can define here whatever you want. So let's say export it clients list dot csv and content type of response is going to be you guessed text csv now we're going to call our client to get a dummy data so of our clients or we don't even have to define clients, but just to make make it a bit clean. Client because the method needs to be shared. It needs to be it needs to have a static. In C sharp is a static. In VB it's shared. So we want to just add a new syntax, sound static, which means that this uh, this method is going to be available without having to instantiate the class. So client dot generate dummy client list. We have a list of clients. Now we want to loop through all of the clients. So use the snippet for for each. So for each client in clients we want to add new line string with format and we're following the same pattern as we followed in so this is going to be our first second, third, and fourth. So client dot first name, client dot last name, client dot email, client dot date of birth. Now response dot write sw which is our string writer dot to string and simply and response so now we want to test this method let's go to home index view and replace the header text export to excel and csv mvc example remove this we're going to create a simple action link using razor helpers export to csv and the action name is export to csv run the application click the link and open the file Okay, first thing I can see is that we're not getting the values. So let's go back to controller. Oh, and I can very easily see that I made a mistake over here. Let's run it once again. And as you can see, everything works as expected. So with exporting to Excel is a very similar concept. We're going to first create a grid. New grid view that lives in web controllers. And we're going to add data source. So grid dot data source. equals and we're going to use a link statement here from data in client dot turn it on the client list select new
first name t dot first name grid dot data bind and again we're going to create response so response clear content response dot add header because actually at the moment I'm repeating myself I could refactor this me uh, this method and put it in some repository that I can reuse from lots of different places final name equals um, how we call it in CSV we call it exported client list dot CSV so let's call it exported client list same dot xls response dot content type is application excel create a new string writer and html text writer that will accept SW as a string writer element. Great dot. We want to render now HTML text writer. So let me just create it, HTML text writer. Let's just rename this text writer. And response dot write string writer dot to string response and oh I can see I made a small typo here content disposition disposition let's go back to view create another action link call it export to Excel Copy the name. And run the application. Click export to Excel. And open the file. And as you can see, everything works as expected. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like what you see, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.